perceptions of postgraduate family medicine supervision at decentralized training sites south africa i am neeta jo irimeda i'm working as a family physician at a kurlaini health district in hauteng and louis jenkins and ann george are my co-authors in this research world health organization advocates medical education address the needs of the community that they serve and decentralized training is an adopted strategy of all clinical specialties including family medicine to address this so the decentralized postgraduate family medicine specialist training was introduced in south africa in 2007 with strong emphasis on workplace based learning and this made it vital to gain in depth insights into registrar supervision Previous studies explored aspects of supervision in high income countries but little is known about supervision in low to middle income countries especially in Africa So the aim of this research was to explore with the family physicians and registrars perceptions of the strengths and challenges of clinical and educational postgraduate supervision in clinical and non clinical context at the University of Witwatersrand this was a qualitative study which was part of a broader research that evaluated postgraduate family medicine training using logic model the study was conducted at five decentralized training sites affiliated with the university of witwatersrand semi structured interviews were conducted with 11 family physicians and 11 registrars either face to face or by electronic interviews the interviews were transcribed verbatim and thematically analyzed using brown and clark's six step approach so coming to the results most family physicians had more than 5 years of training experience and most of them attended training courses but none of them had postgraduate qualification in medical education the registrars who participated in this research were from their second and third year of training and all registrars had some level of phc experience before joining the program so there were four major themes and several sub themes that were identified from this research the first and the second theme focused mainly on the strengths and challenges whereas the last two themes focused on the challenges alone so the first theme was that the supervision is context specific and supervisor dependent so family physician supervision in the clinical context enables individual attention most family physicians and registrars felt that they saw patients together discussing the various aspects of consultation getting lot of role modeling opportunities and lot of feedback for the registrars family physician supervision in the non clinical context provides multiple perspectives so the non clinical context here refers to the regional training centers at the districts and the registrars felt they had opportunities to get multiple opinions and they are able to formulate what works best for them the non family physician supervision focuses only on the clinical training the non family physicians here refers to the specialists in other clinical disciplines and also the medical officers and also the registrars who engaged the registrars on ward rounds case based discussions and also performing various procedures but both registrars and family physicians felt that the non family physician supervisors were not sure what family medicine is and what to train these registrars during their rotations so the second theme was that the nature of engagement matters engagement is tailored to learning needs of the registrars and it is more of self directed learning and supervisor characteristics impact the training the registrars felt that the family physician supervisors displayed good clinical teacher characteristics being open and honest and showing good communication skills professionalism affects engagement so the family physicians in sub districts they shared their tasks which made their task much easier but some family physicians also felt that the registrars displayed unprofessional behavior coming late for work and also not doing enough preparations for their presentations which was found to be challenging and the third theme is that the supervision is not ideal 
most family physicians felt that they struggled to manage their administrative duties along with their academic responsibilities and workload together and due to this the registrars often feel unsupervised the registrars wish for more role modeling opportunities as one of them said i spent two months at phc 10 three months at phc 1 i got very little to none supervision in my primary health care Supervision is not standardized across the training districts. So when one registrar was allocated to a family physician in some districts, the other districts, all the registrars rotated under one family physician, which prevented the development of longitudinal supervisory registrar relationship. And some family physicians also felt that they didn't have the skills to help the registrars in all domains. As one of them said, you may be weak on women's health or you might be strong in pediatrics. And lastly, the training environment is challenging. Insufficient resources in the training. So the family physicians and registrars found there were severe family physician shortages across the districts and also shortages in infrastructure and also equipment. And this was even worse in the rural districts. Work-life balance is challenging for registrars. Most registrars also struggle to manage their academic responsibilities, allow work commitments, and also to manage their personal and family obligations. And lastly, the district hospitals are perceived as hostile. Some family physicians felt that the district hospital staff were not supportive of training, and they failed to understand themselves as part of learning organizations and which was challenging. So these study findings have implications to the supervisors training registrars across the decentralized sites in a district health system. So there is need for faculty development of all the supervisors on aspects of supervision. And this include both the non-family physician and family physician supervisors. And there is need for regular updating of family physician skills at training sites. The university has an advocacy role in standardization of resources and training. And also there is need of regular conversation across the various sites and university support visits. And lastly, and most importantly, registrars need to be prepared well for the workplace-based learning. Thank you.